Uh, yeah, this is Star Wars. You got like Hoth, like sets, mm -hmm. Star Wars accessories, Ewok stuff, droid set, speed bikes, Dungeons and Dragons vintage. Oh, wow. That's all mass. Mass cool. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bloggy flip. All right, so for this channel in the new year, I would like to completely shift away from some of the randomness that I deal in and completely put my focus into what I love and have a passion for, which I guess I would call uh, vintage and nostalgic pop culture. Toys from the 60s, 70s, 80s, even 90s. Hats, t-shirts, posters, cards, comics, records, cassettes, things of that nature. Over the course of the last year, I've kind of been leaning that way, and now it's time just to go full throttle. So when it comes to vintage toys in particular, there's plenty of stuff that I need to learn and uh, build my confidence and my knowledge base in. And the easiest way for me to do that is to, is to actually have stuff in my hand and be able to research it and see differences and uh, see, see what accessory goes with what piece and just to kind of build up a library in my head, I guess. I just really want to build up that confidence level uh, when I'm buying things like collections or even investing in higher end pieces. So I did have an idea. I took all the random video games that I picked up over the past year. I've pieced some off here and there. So I still had quite a collection left, but at this point I had very little money invested anymore. If I would have pieced everything out over time on eBay, it probably would have led to about $1,500 to $2,000 worth of sales. So what I did was I put everything on Facebook and I sold it all to one person for $1,200 cash. Saved me a lot of time and frustration and it was definitely worth it in the end. So then I reached out to my buddy Lucas who runs the Facebook group Hilltop Toys. I'll link his group in the description. Lucas is probably the coolest and most knowledgeable uh, toy guy that I personally know. So I reached out to him and said, I have $1,200 cash. Do you want to put me together like a huge lot of just random stuff? Not like five or six high-end pieces, just parts and pieces and uh, different lines and accessories. I told him not to worry about resale margins or anything, just a deal that he was comfortable taking quick cash over a long-term time investment. He was into the idea and he says he has everything ready and laid out. So uh, we're going to go back to Lucas's house and check everything out and hopefully come away with a big stash of of just pure random awesomeness what's up buddy how you doing, man? good how are you good. Merry Christmas. it was nice man how was yours yeah, good. Did you sell a lot of stuff yeah you move a lot i feel like it wasn't as much as uh last year when they're handing out like covid checks and stuff oh yeah i'm sure <laughs> uh, yeah but we did all right that's good man cleaned up good and everything. i got you three tables laid out and nice. more to look through if you'd like okay Brought some uh, G.I. Joes and stuff. Yeah, okay. So it's, it's kind of organized and separated, but um, yeah, feel free to take anything out of the bag, just lay it out. Okay. Honestly, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. This was a tall order, I know. Yeah. Uh, I just looked through my old stuff, man, and I was able to find uh, plenty. No, this looks pretty exciting, actually. Yeah, there's... I can kind of go through it with you for a while. You said parts and pieces. And yeah, and man, I just... I stuff. This is the broken box. I know you like to buy broken stuff. Yeah. So I threw all that in. That's all vintage. That's very cool. Casey Jones. There's the better kernels over there on the other side. So you can dig or I can explain uh, what each thing is. Okay. So overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, this is Star Wars. You got like Hoth play sets. Cool. These are all Star Wars accessories. Ewok stuff. A couple vintage catalogs. Droid set. Speed bikes. More droid stuff. This is actually Brave Star. I've heard specs. that before. That's 80s. Uh, Nichi line. It's like Space Cowboys. Okay. <laughs> That's the bad guy. <laughs> They're really cool figures when they have all these accessories. Cool. They're huge. Yeah, that was kind of the point of this, just uh, to learn about stuff, honestly. Yeah, I tried to throw you as many weird items as I could, but keep it vintage still. Very cool. So this is like slot cars. I love slot cars. Uh, there's a little bit of some other cars in here. Some vintage, some newer. Some of just cars. This I don't know. I want to say it's like a My Little Pony knockoff. <coughs> That's what it's, it's, so. it's a yeah, it's a good desirable piece. It's called like C Nymph or something with a C. Yeah. They had a bunch of different uh, made by Hasbro. Stuff. Pretty cool. In this table too? Yeah. Yeah, this is Nice. I saw your video, you said you like the Eastman Lairds. I do. Oh man, like look that. at that. Yeah, that's a nice one too. That is cool. I just do some extra comics on there too. 
card backs. The turtle cards. Unpunched. Oh, yeah. No, this is all cool, man. I loved Heathcliff. Did you? Yeah. I don't remember. I was a guard. I'm from Muncie, so I'm a guard. Oh, really? Guy. Yeah. <laughs> I loved Heathcliff. That was like my favorite show. Is that Amigo? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's the old, like, bat bike. Uh huh. I think it's from the 50s. It's hard. Very cool. But. Amigos were probably the first toys I ever sold. Really? Yeah. It's, it's because I found like a big lot, like at a pawn shop for like a hundred bucks. Oh wow. Yeah. They can be really valuable. Oh yeah, yeah. I made a ton on them. Uh, yeah. I, I really come across those, man. I, I never do anymore. That was like the last time. I had a kid that was buying them. He was a customizer. Every uh -huh. time I had him, I just sent him to him. Yeah. But he's a kid. He ran out of. He ran out of <laughs> I'm sure. He's looking like 15. Uh, but it's cool. He was into like the old 50s toys. And sure. Stuff. That's awesome. So there's some turtles there. Parts and figures. There's a bit of max in there. Nice. Uh, all vintage. Yeah. So random. I love it. Micros. Strawberry shortcake. I guess I picked up my Chesterfield thrift shop I told you about. Yeah. It's actually a good piece. I need to get up there still. Uh, Voltron Motu Bashasaurus. Yeah. Is that complete? Yeah. I don't think I have a complete one. That's awesome. I don't know if it works fully. You may need stuff but yeah it's there i just display them anyway i threw more motu i know that's kind of your direction there so yeah put more out just in case you have ghostbusters some like 90s marvel dc batman stuff cool. bart this is secret wars more secret wars that's cool oh these are gobots oh nice all good condition all functional i know you said no on the play sets but i just I of course, yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know if you had them or not. I'll, I'll take them. You don't have to take them. If anything you that's set out that you don't care for, you can swap in something else. I'm not not that rigid. So this is Dungeons and Dragons vintage. Oh wow. Um, this figure is pretty good. Cool. That North Lord is an expensive guy. That's cool. He's a hundred plus. Got Very neat. Do you ever find like the Black Star stuff? Galoo Black Star? Yes. Do you? I have some in here. Right oh wow. I just recently learned about this stuff. Yeah, it's a it's, it was like the original He-Man basically. It came out right before He-Man. Yeah. The guy that looks like him. Right. That's John Black Star. Very cool. Very neat, man. I appreciate you doing this. Yeah. Back here. That's all that. That's cool. To give you a little bit of each. Yeah. Small vehicles go for about 50. The expensive ones are 100 plus. I saw you buy one of these in, at that place in Greenwood. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. What was that guy's shop called? Uh, Bay 7. Yeah. I'm actually meeting him tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. He uh, reached out like with some hats and stuff that he has to sell. So. Oh, nice. I was going to look him up and go check that place out. It looked really interesting. Yeah, he's got a good eye. So, this is that's kind of your stuff on those three tables and then this okay. is my other stuff that's either listed or unlisted it's all good vintage i don't know if you want to look through this. sure hey man um there's some turtles you can do like top of the uh this is all motu if you need parts okay this stuff is listed so if you like something let me know and i'll go yank it okay but I, what, here's what was, i was thinking the deal for the table could be the cash deal sure if you have the joes you want to trade for some of this stuff okay we can do that that's yeah man let's do that let me pay you then I'll go get the Joes real quick, and then okay. you can look through those. And, yeah, we'll get an idea know, of sure. what we have. We don't clear the table yeah, off. and then I have more cash too, so okay. it's not that big of a thing. I've been carrying this 1200 for like three weeks now. Yeah, we're <laughs> the whole new pocket. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sweet. Thank you, sweet. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Yeah. Did you want to look at vehicles too? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Those are both. No. Too much, I don't want to forget. I think I like guitars. Yeah. I forgot I had this upstairs. It's oh, wow. It's a steel guitar. Lap steel? Uh, it's a little beat, but it's an old trainer model. Oh, that's very cool. I mean, you could, you could really throw that in the deal if you want it. Okay. Yeah, that's very neat. That's neat. Those are all accessories. Random guys. There's a Sergeant Slaughter business and his thumbs. They're always busted. Yeah. Obviously. And then these guys are all like sure. not together, but. Okay. Gung ho. This Man, this cool. is a good piece here. So there's a lens that goes in here, uh -huh. and it's literally the GI Joe Grail piece. Oh, really? It's not bad. It's literally <laughs> yeah, of it's that it's big. Yeah. And it'll go for over a hundred bucks because it's always missing. His tank. I just picked up two of those. His driver. Roadblock. You get the O-rings too. Look at you. 
<laughs> ready to go, man. It was gonna be like a winter project, but I mean, I don't mind getting so, rid of them. Yeah. You got 350 bucks in value, easy. Oh, okay. 400, I mean, probably more. If you value, I mean, there's quite a few crotches busted, but. Yeah, and there's some work to do, still too. Got a good figure, a few good figures in there, too. Vipers is really good. Army builder. Not scratched with gun, backpack. That's 40 bucks right there. So, you, know, you got three, 400 bucks in value here, buddy. Okay. Uh, what what else you, you want? <laughs> So I'll call it even on that if you want. Cool. Is that the deal? Yeah. Works for me, man. Cool, Thank bud. you. Yeah, man. Appreciate Pleasure. it. It's awesome. All right, bud. Sweet, dude. I appreciate it, man. Thanks again, man. Yeah. Pleasure as always. Yes, Talk soon. There's a big beer motu list. Give me a holler. I'll, okay. I'll start setting up the for you. Awesome. That sounds good, man. Yeah. Have a good day. All right, buddy. Cheers. Happy New Year. All right. So we made it back home. And uh, I would say that Lucas really came through. I did not know what I was going to walk into, and I am thrilled with what he was able to put together. There is such a variety of stuff, and that's exactly what I wanted. There's hours and hours of research to be done. A lot of stuff that I'm familiar with, tons of stuff that I had no clue about, and like I said, I'm just thrilled. Make sure you check out Lucas's Facebook group, Hilltop Toys. Link in the description. If you're into vintage toys, it's it's definitely worth a follow because tons of like awesome rare stuff comes up on there for sale. So definitely check it out. No way I can show you everything. This is only like a small snippet of it there's like tons of vehicles and and star wars stuff and stuff that wouldn't fit over here but but i'll show you some of my favorite stuff real quick i really like this awesome uh return of the jedi figure case here in very good condition for its age i would say dungeons and dragons stuff i think is really neat uh, looks like these are the pieces for spydor down here from masters of the universe uh we've got ninja turtle stuff I thought the Black Star stuff was really cool. I actually have some more of that up here as well. Quite a bit of Star Wars stuff. I'm definitely in the market for more uh, early Star Wars figures. So that's that's kind of one thing I'm getting into recently. Mid-70s Fisher-Price Adventure People. Kind of the uh, inspiration to a lot of the early Star Wars figures. Pretty neat. Lots of different accessories and random pieces. Quite a bit more Masters of the Universe stuff. Mego Robin. I love old Mego figures. Tons more He-Man parts and pieces. This was part of that last deal, this old lap steel guitar. I thought that was really cool. That's that's actually right up my alley. I love old, weird vintage instruments. I'm really happy he thought of me with that one. A box full of mask stuff. Uh, here's some figures. Here's a bunch of vehicles, parts and pieces of vehicles, complete vehicles. Bag of cool horror figures. This is a line I had never heard of, Brave Star. So that's cool that that's on my radar now. And then I traded some G.I. Joe figures for uh, a few like personal collection stuff. Uh, just some She-Ra figures that I didn't have. A pretty nice junkyard dog to go up here next to the Hawkster. Got a loose tongue lasher from Masters of the Universe, which I didn't have yet. And then a really exciting piece for my collection. The elusive King Randor, complete with cape and his bow staff there. Uh, actually a really expensive figure, even loose. This thing can sell for like 150 to 250 bucks. So this was the bulk of my trade and, and it was cool to not actually have to pay cash for it. I would say that this is probably the most high-end Motu figure I currently have. So excited to have gotten that. And then as you can see, just boxes and boxes full of stuff. Star Wars vehicles, carrying cases, lots of different stuff down in this box. I uh, got some lunch boxes down in there with some comic books tons of great stuff thanks again lucas always a pleasure looking forward to our next interaction you never manage to disappoint all right so that's all i got for you this time guys as always i want to thank you so much for watching the video but until next time stay safe stay healthy love ya bye when they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me i guess they'll know why i'm buying this crap